Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic. In today's video, we're gonna prepare an animated heart icon, an animated like button icon in Figma. This is gonna be an interactive component. We're gonna be using smart animate, hover states, press down states, and simple animation to show that there is some kind of feedback and to show that this is really interactive. This is the final result. And if you would like to download the source file for this, Check the link in the description, that will take you to my store. Now let's see how to create this animated icon. We're gonna start with a rectangle and the dimensions of this rectangle are gonna be 160 by 100. Then we're gonna around these two corners, which means the top right and the bottom right one, and we're gonna say 50. Then we're gonna select this rectangle, duplicate that, rotate, align like this, select both of these, merge, rotate again, and there is your heart. Very simple, right? Now we need to actually create the animation. I'm just gonna remove the fill and add a stroke. Stroke will be around 12, let's say, right? We're gonna name this heart and select that and then create a component from this. Uh, this component is gonna have a component property and the component property is gonna be called state. It's gonna be it's gonna have a default state, a hover state, then it's gonna have a pressed down state, an expanded state, expanded, and then final state. So we're having five states in total, but don't worry, um, this looks more complicated than it actually is. Uh, I'm gonna explain everything. The first state, we're gonna keep that as it is, so nothing will happen. Um, this is the default look. So if you don't interact with this icon in any way, it's just gonna be, uh, this is just gonna be the, the look of the icon. Then we're gonna have a press down state and that will mean that this stroke is gonna turn to like mid gray, let's say, right? And it's gonna also shrink a little. Um, Oops, sorry, this is the hover state. So that means it's gonna turn to also mid gray, but there's gonna be no shrinking. The press down state is where the shrinking is actually gonna happen. So I'm selecting the heart shape and then pressing K to access the scale tool. And with the heart shape in the press down state selected, I'm gonna do this to push it a little bit as if further away from the user. Right? Then we're gonna have an expanded state and this means I'm gonna again take this heart icon with the scale tool selected and I'm gonna do the opposite of this. I'm gonna expand, expand the heart icon, right? I'm just gonna increase this to give this some more space. And this expanded state, that's gonna be actually red, the stroke as well as the fill. So this is where our like button will actually turn red. I'm gonna change the color to make this a bit softer. So why don't we actually just select some colors and just choose a color that is better in my opinion, right? So like this, for example, yeah, I think this looks good. And same here. So I'm again, selecting the heart icon, sampling the colors from the previous state, right? And now we are ready for prototyping. So I'm gonna select the prototype panel right here, select the first default state and click and drag over to connect the first state to the hover state. I'm gonna say that this is gonna be while hovering, change to state hover, and it's gonna be of course smart animate, is out and it's gonna be quite quick. So let's go for 80 milliseconds. And then from, uh, from here, I'm gonna do something similar, except I'm gonna say, say while pressing. So while pressing, change to state, press down. That makes sense, right? Um, and then I'm gonna continue uh, selecting the press down state, click and drag to this expanded state. And that's gonna be on tap, change to state expanded or actually it's gonna to be touch up or mouse up, state expanded. And then from here, this is gonna be after delay. The delay is gonna be just one millisecond, so that's instant and change to state final, right? Smart animate is out 50 milliseconds. So theoretically what should happen now is that we've, when we use this, uh, an instance of this component, we should be able to hover over this icon and it should turn to this gray, mid gray color then when we actually press down, it should shrink. 
then quickly expand over the edges of the frame and then revert back to its initial size with a new color. Um, I'm gonna test this on a frame that I'm gonna create right here. So this is gonna be 1000 by 600 and this is gonna say test frame. And also we're gonna shrink these icons, make these icons smaller because I think that's too big for an icon. So instead of 184 in width, this is gonna be 32, 33 pixels, something like that. Let's test this out. I'm gonna go to assets and then click and drag the heart onto the test frame, center it and launch the prototype. So my prototype has launched with an iPhone device. I'm gonna fix that by going to prototype and then just select under device, I'm gonna select none and this should do the trick. Right, yeah, it's fixed. I'm gonna fill the screen with this. And before we, I, we actually test the prototype, uh, there's gonna be one small change. And that is if we actually want to unlike something, right? We click the icon again and it reverts back to its initial state, which should be the case here as well. So on click, change to state default. It's gonna be smart animate. The time is gonna be 100 milliseconds, something like that. And now let's see what we built. So there's an icon, we hover over the icon, it changes to gray, we click it, we hold it pressed down, it shrinks, we release it and it expands and then reverts back to its normal size with a new color. So once again, we unlike, hover, press, So this is the loop that we have created. Very simple, yet powerful, and gives the user a good feedback that something's happening, that something uh, has been liked, favorited by them. So this is very good for using in your interfaces, in web design and mobile app design. Uh, it's also good to mention that uh, when doing things, when designing things for mobile, it actually doesn't make sense to use hover because there is actually no hover in, uh, you, you either touch the screen or you don't. Uh, with, with computers that's different because you have, you know, you can hover over stuff and then you actually click it. I'm gonna just make this a bit bigger so, so that we can see the icon better. So this is what it looks like. We could add a shadow, for example. We could do that, yeah. I think, um, let's go to effects in this final state. Let's sample the color from here, blur it, move it down, and then decrease the opacity and try it out, right? So you get some nice little shadow here to go the extra step. So this is the final result. This is what we get. We hover over the icon, press it down, release, and it does this little jump when it expands. If you'd like to download the source file for this, check the link in the description. And if you'd like to see more animated icons, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you as always in the next one.